Okay, so this video is going to be for Goal Block D for my Tech Ed 1 class, period 3A. So, again, going into week 9, if you look towards the bottom of the directions, there are all the PDF files you need. Specifically, what we're going to work on is building Goal Block uh, D in this case, and then later on in a subsequent video, we will then come back and put it into a drawing later on. So, I'm going to go ahead and open this up, get my PDF file up and on my screen, and look at the part that they want us to draw. So here's all we have here, okay? So we finished up uh, black box C, so now this is the next one. Now this one is pretty straightforward, okay? The easiest way to approach this one, a couple ways you could do it, you could start from the front, okay? Draw a rectangle and a screwed back, and then cut two blocks off at the end. I'm gonna take it a little bit so it's a lot easier. I can do it in one step by going on the top plane and creating the outside edge of this and then extruding it down. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my SOLIDWORKS, do a file new, hit OK there, and say double click the part. Okay, now again, we talked in the previous video about the design tree right here. Okay, and that's over here to the left. And in that design tree, we talk about the front plane, the top plane, and the right side plane. All right, these are essentially like the drawings we were doing previous to coming into SOLIDWORKS. All right, we talked about the orthographic views. And we use graph paper to create front, top, and right side drawings. In this case, all I want to do is I want to highlight the front plane. Now, the way I kind of create this is now I basically have highlighted this as, as a front, no, it's not front, excuse me, top. The top plane is to me like a piece of paper I'm going to draw. Okay? In order to draw, though, i got to get my pencil. All right? In this case, to get the pencil you need to draw, you need to go to the sketch tab up above and left click on the word sketch. Okay. Now by doing that, it did what we call normal to, it rotated the top plane so it's flat to your screen. So essentially here is my draw, drawing paper. Okay. Now I need to turn on a tool to draw with. If you look up here to the top, here are your drawing tools. Specifically what I want to use is the line tool. So I'm going to left click and turn it on. I notice right away that my cursor turns into a pencil and that the little symbol at the back of it tells me I'm drawing a line. Now as I explained in the gold block or the black block C uh, part that I created, it is important that we start our drawings from our origin. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and attach right to the origin. The way I know it's attaching is I see the orange dot pop up. When I see that pop up, that tells me I am connected to that. I'm going to left click on that. And I'm going to begin drawing a rough form of the shape. Okay, so I'm going to pull out here to my right a straight line. I'm going to pull straight up, pull in, pull up, pull back, pull up, pull all the way. And you can see SOLIDWORKS is kind of guiding you. It's giving you lines to, to work with. So when I see that line pop up, I'm going to left click right there, pull down, in, down, over, and down. Okay, now I know I'm in good shape here because I see the blue shading. That tells me I have a closed figure. So I'm done sketching. So I'm going to hit the escape key to turn it off. Now, to center it up on my screen, I'm going to hit my F key on the keyboard. All right, so now I have the rough shape. So going back into the drawing here, I have the rough outline. Okay, if you look at this, now I need to use these numbers here to define it completely. Okay, get it to the right size. So I'm going to pull this over to my side here real quick so I can see the numbers. And go back up here to the sketch toolbar and hit the word smart dimension. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and start clicking on the lines to get it to the right size. So I'm going to start by this big line up at the top. I'm going to left click and pull up and make that four inches. I'm going to click on this left line here and this right line right here and pull straight up. Left click number three and type in 2.5, enter. I'm going to click this edge right here for this line, left click and pull up, left click again and type in three divided by four. I'm going to go ahead and hit this line right here and pull to my right and type in 3 divided by 4. 
I'm going to do the same thing with this line right here. 3 divided by 4. And then from this top line to this bottom line, I'll pull to my right, left click number 3, and type 2.5 and hit enter. Now, I'm close to being done, but it's not quite perfect. All right, I still see some blue. We talked in the previous video that black is where you want to be. Blue means I need more information. So the reason this one's blue is because it doesn't know how long this is. I can tell because I can grab and move this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is try my smart dimension, and I'm going to take this line right here and come down and make it 3 divided by 4. Okay, so now that's good. It's all black. Go over here and do the same thing. This length right here is also going to be 3 divided by oops, 4. And this one will be 3 divided by 4. And now once you've done that, you'll notice that all of the blue lines are gone. Everything went black. And more importantly, right down here in the lower right, it says fully defined. SOLIDWORKS likes being fully defined. Okay, so that's an important piece. So that means it's now ready for the next step. And the next step is going to be, uh, in this case, the next step is going to be to extrude this. Okay, so I'm going to go to Features, Extrude Boss Base. Now, extrusion means we're going to add material to the sketch. We're going to add the third dimension. When I click that on, it's going to rotate itself, okay, to what's called an isometric view. The default, it adds a little thickness to it. That default thickness is 0 0.10. Now what I'm going to do is go back to the drawing and look at this real quick. And if I look at the drawing, it looks like the thickness of this should be one and a quarter inches tall, 1.25. Okay. So where it says 0.1 here, I'm going to type in 1.25 and hit enter. What we'll see is that will extend up 1.25. Now you can change direction by clicking on the arrowhead. Actually, not the arrowhead, excuse me. Uh, that was dumb. I clicked out of it. It should be 1.25. And the change direction, I apologize, is to hit the arrow right here where it says direction 1. Okay, now I'm just going to leave it alone. I don't need to worry about the direction right now. So I'm going to go ahead and say that's where my height should be. I'm going to hit the check mark. Get your F key to center up, and at this point, all I have left to do is add material. Okay, you'll notice there's some wood striping on here. Ours does not have that right now, so we need to add that material on. Well, if you remember in the first video, I talked about the design tree. Okay, we just added our first branch to the design tree. But in that design tree, you're also going to see a, uh, a line for material. Okay. What I'm going to do to change materials, I'm going to hover my cursor on top of it, and I'm going to right-click my mouse. I'm going to go to the word Edit Material. Now you're going to get a window pop-up, and inside this uh, window pop-up is all the materials you can apply to this. Okay, if I minimize, you can see there's quite a bit of choices. you got steel, you have iron, aluminum alloys, copper, titanium, etc. What we're going to do is add on wood. Okay, so the very last one, I see where it says woods, I'm going to expand that out. I'm going to find the word pine. Left click on pine and then do change its color. I'm going to move this so you can see this happen. To change its color or make it look like wood, you do an apply and then close. Now at this point, this part is done. So we just need to save this. So I'm going to go up to the save symbol and do a file, save as. Again, I'm going to go find my H drive over here to the left. And if you can't find it, let's say for instance, it's, uh, this PC is not expanded. Okay, if you are not able to locate it, I'm going to drop this PC down, find my name, and I'm going to save this as Gold Block D. Okay, so I'm going to, I like all caps, Gold Block D. As soon as you have that, you're going to hit Save. Okay, and at that point, you are done with this part. You need to make sure this part is saved to the H drive because in a subsequent lesson that I'm going to do a presentation on, we are going to take this part and put it into a drawing that you will print and turn in. If you have any questions, ask your teacher. Otherwise, good luck.